speaks very specifically, I think, to that. But I still think the themes are, are, are general enough that people get it. I mean, I don't think it's something that people, you know, haven't heard of or seen before, but there are, there are a lot of, I thought, really nice references to very Chicago and that, um, that people would get, you know, who live in Chicago or from Chicago. So uh, that's, that's my that's good, that's good point. The thing that gentrification really was interesting to me because I did grow up in Detroit in, in, in a neighborhood that didn't gentrify. And I, I didn't think that that was the best thing in the world. And then living in Chicago, I've, I saw how neighborhoods change so quickly. Um, and, and that's not a good thing either. And, and, and I've been on different spokes of the gentrification wheel. And I noticed that people, when they talk about it, they tend to talk about it in their own circle um, and not so much with other folks. And so, but it affects everyone. And it affects, and it brings in a lot of themes that I wanted to work with. So it started from there. That was really it. And then I started just sort of developing characters. Um, but they weren't necessarily, there's really nobody up here that was like somebody, oh, there's my, you know, like I, know, I knew, you know, a bunch of Estos growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't one, but it's kind of an amalgamation of those kinds of guys that I knew. Um, and same thing with, you know, everybody on here is sort of a, a compilation of, of things, you know, but not really based on anyone in particular. But one thing you get out of the play, at least I got from hearing it from the back of the house, was how much the playwright loves his characters. No matter what their point of view, no matter what their problem, no matter what their issue, no matter what their truth, there's a there's a real honesty I feel in the play. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell you what I liked about it is that there were two plays going on, or two uh, number of issues going on, and then they merged together. And I really liked that. I thought that was really interesting. Those are all good things to think about. Where the thing that I, I really was really important for me to not have necessarily, at least in my mind, there's not really a villain in. The show, and so it's really easy in, in, in this issue to vilify somebody, and, and people leap to that pretty quickly, at least in real life. So I wanted to make sure that we got a chance to experience. I think people make a series of short-term decisions based on relatively good things. They're trying to get through life as best they can, and it leads to this sort of conflict. So I wanted to at least give it its due, so that as an audience, you sort of get a chance to see how these people got there, not just like, oh, that's you know, I can vilify them for the choice for one choice they made. But it's a fair thing to, to think about. A couple of thoughts that came to my mind were um, a lot of uh, residents from Raising in the Sun came to my mind. Um, yeah. And I wondered if, just some structure, um, getting these guys to the neighborhood sooner would be something to explore. Because the only thing I think I, I could have seen more of is a discovery of each other's situation more. Um, and I think that could maybe only happen if you get them to the, to the neighborhood in the first act. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's a whole structural thing. but. I just thought it was just wonderful how you depicted each individual character, but... Okay. Yes, please. Well, and I thought that the Starbucks part of, in it, being from Chicago, and from Omaha, and from places in Michigan, I thought that that really kind of anchored it as, yeah, that is sort of the flashpoint. It's like, oh shit, everything's changing. <laughs> when, when the currency exchange becomes the Starbucks, that's kind of the beginning of that whole thing. I, I, awesome. <laughs> One of the strongest parts of the play for me was the relationship with the two brothers and the thing about the house. Because I feel like there was such a huge cast and that I really saw a lot of development in terms of their relationship and how they were dealing with staying there or one wanting to leave and it was just very touching that whole relationship. I thought the, the humor felt real organic. I didn't feel like you were reaching for a quick laugh or a cheap laugh. Question to the to the to the cast: Did the house laugh when we were supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting because we all said not only did you laugh when we were supposed to, but we all discovered moments that were funny when you laughed when we didn't even know that it was that funny. So that was that, that, you all were absolutely great. 
I was raised with this kind of cast for a, for a play presentation for Chicago emerging playwright. Right on. Thank you so much.